Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. No, I am, I am playing Pokemon, uh, Fire Red version. I I thought you know let's play a game. Let's play uh, Fire Red. I owned this game for the Game Boy, and I always enjoyed it. So I was like, hey, let's play it. In this world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventures, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press A to begin. Alright, so. Ah, who is this man? Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affection, uh, affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Ah, well, let's see. Tell me, are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. Definitely a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Well, uh, to be honest, my name is Zane. And that's what we are going... Uh, yeah, my name is Zane. That's what we're going to go for. See, as a, as a kid, I played this game quite a bit. I remember um, we were up at camp one time. Uh, when when we, my brother and I were younger, we were up at a, a camp, our camp, and we, um, he had Pokemon Blue, and I had um, Pokemon Fire Red. Right, so your name is Zane. Yes, it is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were babies. Um, what was his name now? Alright, his name, I'll name him... I'll name him Kai. My brother's name is Kai. Um, as I was saying... Uh, my brother and I would play Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Fire Red, and we would try to race in the game. It was a little bit of an unfair advantage, because I was able to, um... I had some advantages in Fire Red compared to Blue. Um, was it Kai? Yes, it was. That's right, I remember now. His name is Kai. <laughs> Zane, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go. Okay. And we enter our room. Alright. Alright, let's see. Boot up the uh, uh, PC. What would you like to do? Item storage. Withdraw an item. And if you go to your uh, PC in your room, you actually can get a potion. So, that is something that you could just uh, keep in mind. Man, this game brings back so much nostalgia. Hello, Mother. What do you got to say to us? Right. All boys leave home someday. It says you're on TV. Oh, yes. Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Okay. Well, I guess we're uh, I guess we're gonna go see uh, where Professor Oak is next door. Uh, is this wh whose house is this? This is Kai's house. Okay. Let's go see what he has to say about it. Hi, Zane. My brother Kai is out at Grandpa's lab. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I guess we're I guess we're going to the lab, which is right down below. All right, here we go. Oh, hello, Kai. What? It's only Zane. Grimps isn't around. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to go find uh, Professor Oak then, wherever he is. But yeah, I played this game when I was younger. It ha has such uh, nostalgia for me, so it's so nostalgic, I should say. Hey, wait! Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Uh, oh, boy. What's gonna happen? The music as well is really, really good. Alright, Professor Oak. What do you gotta say to us? Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Kai, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Zane. There are three types of Pokemon here. <laughs> the Pokemon are inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Kai. You can have one, too. Alright, I guess we get to choose our Pokemon. 
So the first choice we have, I see, Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. So Zayn, do you want to go with the grass Pokemon, Bulbasaur? No, I don't. The second one is mm, Squirtle. So Squirtle is a water type. Bulbasaur, the first one, is a grass type. And the last but not least, we have um, a Charmander, which is a fire type. Ah, you should raise it patiently. So you're claiming the fire Pokemon, Charmander. So we are going to choose the one and only. We're going to choose Charmander, because it's Pokemon Fire Red, and it would be uh, very different to uh, not choose uh, a fire type starter. Although, I, I admit, I, di I did use Bulbasaur before, and I also have used Squirtle in Pokemon Blue. I, I, I own both of the games, so I own uh, Blue and Fire Red. I, I still have all the games, actually, in my room. So, do you want to give a nickname to the this Charmander? Yes, I do. I will nickname him. I already thought of a name. We are going to name him Charmer, because, you know, I don't know. It's the original name I had for my original uh, Charmander when I first got it in my, in my actual copy of uh, Fire Red. This is another one, but, you know, I'll take this one then. Kai received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. Of course, our rival has to choose uh, a water type. All right, well, let's keep going. Wait, Zane, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Okay. And here we go. We are battling Kai, our rival. Rival Kai would like to battle. Rival Kai sent out Squirtle. So if you ever feel like you're losing in this battle, or in this game, or excuse me, yeah, in this battle, that is what that potion is going to be for that we got back at the, uh, the PC. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, he's pushy. Zane, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when a trainers pit their Pokemon against other, uh, each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. All right, so we are going to use we are going to use Scratch. We're just going to go for it. All right, inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Alright, the foe squirt will use Tail Whip. Alright, defense is lowered. That is okay. We're just going to keep going for the good old-fashioned Scratch. If you keep using Scratch or you keep using Tackle, um, depending on the starter that you get, you're, you're going to win. There's, again, you're going to win. It's, it's a pretty uh, simple fight. So, there we go. Oh, and there we go. We use Scratch, and we knocked out the Squirtle. Alright, we gained 70 points. And we leveled up. Player defeated Rival Kai. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Alright, we got money as well. Pretty nice. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle of the trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Will do, Professor. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle- Oh, wait, that's not- Excuse me. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Zane, Gramps, smell you later. I don't know why I use Oak's voice and, uh... <laughs> Alright, what do you gotta say? Zane, raise your Pokemon by making it battle. It has to battle for it to grow. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna head out here. All right, let's see. Do you have to say something to us, Daisy? Where, where'd your, uh, where'd your brother go? I heard you had battle against Kai. I wish I'd seen that. Me too. Me too. I wish you did see that. It was a, it was a fun fight. I absolutely decimated the enemy. Look, look! I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. So we have a menu right here. We have different uh, options. You head to our, your options. We could have the text speed. Oh, uh, let's set our tech speed to fast, and there we go. And we can choose different frames. You know what? Um, I feel like using the good old-fashioned... that one. Why not? Alright, let's get going. Hi, I work on a Pokemon Mart. It's a part of the convenience chain of selling all sorts of items. Please visit the Virgin City. I'll give you a sample. And we received another potion from this guy. So there's that. So if you keep coming up this uh, this path, um, there's gonna, there's gonna be grass, and if you enter the grass, wild Pokemon will come and attack you. 
So when this po these Pokemon attack you, you can battle it, and after you battle it, you'll actually, um, and if you win, you gain experience points. So, and that experience points, in turn, will level up your Pokemon. And this is kind of the key progression of this turn-based, uh, game. It's really fun, uh, excuse me. It's really fun, honestly. It's like 11 o'clock at night here. I just wanted to record because I felt like I could. I've been working quite a bit. Um, it's been going really well, though. Um, everything's going pretty well down my way. But I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Um, uh, I was reading the Bible, honestly, a little while ago. And I was reading in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And it talked about a suffering ministry. You know, and when we, when we have our ministry in Christ, and when we are going down the path that Christ has for us, we're going to be suffering. We're going to be going through trials and tribulations. And depending on what trials and tribulations we go through, that will determine how far we're going to be able to make it with Christ. We can either falter and step back and go back to the old ways that we used to uh, we used to come from. So, for instance, if you came from a, a life of sin and you had a certain struggle that you dealt with and you came to know Christ and uh, you were baptized in His name um, and you you gave your life to Him... Um, you're washed in, in the blood, and your sins have been forgiven. So, as you go throughout your walk with Christ... Oh, we also learned Ember. Nice move. As, as I was saying, when you go throughout your walk with Christ, um, there are going to be constant uh, trials and tribulations that you're going to face that the enemy will try to get you to come back to where you once came from. So, in, in saying that, you're going to suffer through, every, uh, through your ministry. And in turn, rely on Christ. Have faith. So... Besides all the, saying all that, just just keep keep your eyes up, keep your chin up, keep focused on the, and keep the the good, uh, the good fight of faith. So we entered Vermilion City. So right here we have a, this red building with this little uh, it says PC that stands for Pokemon Center. So you come up here and you can talk to Nurse Joy. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like me to hear your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, I would, Nurse Joy. So after a little bit, your Pokemon will be healed for free, which is always nice. So it restores all your, um, the amount of moves you can do. It restores your health. Really nice, really nice. So over here, we have the Pokemon Mart. Oh, so there we go. Alright. As we keep going, there's someone blocking the path. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. All right. What's it? What's down this way? Route 22. And okay, that's about it. So there are different ways you can go, different things you can go and see. It's always nice. If you come up here, you'll get a Pokemon. Uh, excuse me, a Pokeball, and we got another potion. So that's always nice. So let's just keep going. Who knows what we might discover? This game brings back so many memories. I I gotta be honest with you. Alright, I'm trying to memorize all my notes by myself. Oh, interesting. Okay, be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. Alright, you guys can read it if you want. Um, so basically, you have uh, sleep, poison, paralyze, freeze, and burn. These are all different um, ailments, ailments that your Pokemon can get affected by, or you can uh, give other Pokemon during a battle. So we have a, uh, a Charmander, or Charmer. He's a fire type. If we use Ember, we have a chance to burn um, enemy Pokemon. Sure, let's learn about two different Caterpillar Pokemon. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch that Pokemon aren't stabbed by Weedle's poison. Okay. So interesting. Let's enter this and see what there is. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know uh, Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Yes. So we're actually going to take um, this uh, parcel and we're going to deliver it to Professor Oak back in Pallet Town. So here we go. Do do do. This music's always been really nice. I always liked it. And we're fighting another Pokemon. Alrighty, guys. So we made it back to Palatown. So let's head right down here to the uh, Professor Oak's lab and let's give him the package. All right. Oh, Zane, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. 
You must be a talented. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Yes, we delivered the parcel to you. So there we go. Ah, it's a custom Pokeball. I I had it order on order. Thank you, Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? All oh, right, I have a request for you too. On the desk is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon that you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Zane and Kai, take these with you. So he's gonna give us a Poke a Pokedex. Basically, anytime we uh, encounter or capture a Pokemon in the wild, or if we encounter a Pokemon that we have to battle from a trainer, it will give information on that Pokemon. If you battle a Pokemon, it will give certain information, but when you capture it, or you own a Pokemon, um, it will give all the information on it, and you can use that for the future to help you capture new Pokemon, and so on and so forth. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape, so you have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it to me. Zane, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Zane. <laughs> Don't bother coming around my place after this. All right, see, see you, Kai. Well, let's get going then. All right, so let's head over to the, to the house where Daisy is and let us get ourselves a uh, a map. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's awful lazy of him. Here, this will help you. We received a town map from Daisy. All right, you can use a town map to find out where you are. So, what you want to do? Come over here, and if you come up, I believe to the bag, uh, you can look at the town map. And there we go. We're in Pallet Town. Pretty nice. Okay. Alright, well. Alright, let's make it all the way back up to Virilian City. Alrighty, there we go. We made it to Virilian City, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next episode. God bless you all.